so in this video we are going to go over um, getting your event configured for the timing app. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is assign your bibs. So let's go in here and I have already assigned the bibs. You want to make sure there's nothing under the unassigned column. You definitely don't want to um, download the data uh, from Ultra Sign Up to the application with uh, with runners who do not have bibs, you can't give them bibs inside of the application. Um, that has if they've registered on ultrasignup.com, then the bibs have to be assigned before the runner record gets pulled over. Okay, so bibs have been assigned. We're going to navigate to timing and results, and then. Um, Let's see, I'm going to go to get your code, which is the third link down. I'm going to be using an Apple uh, iPad. We have a guide right here that you can read um, for any questions that you might have for the app. We're also going to have lots of videos out on using the application soon, so um, stay tuned for that. There's also an eight minute basics video, but we've made some updates to the application since then, um, so keep that in mind. And then uh, step four is going to be, um, after you've downloaded the app, looked over all of this, um, get your code. So here you configure your event um, for the timing application. Okay, so are you planning to record participants in more than one location? This is just going to be a basic setup. So no, we're just going to record at the finish line. How many times will the 50 miler pass through the finish line? And this is going to be once. How many times will the 50K pass through the finish line? And we'll just say once for this one as well. And then the 100 miler is going to be the same. And what is the course lap length for the loop event? in miles, so we're going to go three, it's a three mile loop. And so then we are going to click on generate code. All right, so here all of our events are configured. Um, the code that you need to grab and key into your application is going to be this code right here. So N-O-Q-T. Um, so when you open up the app, and I will have another video follow up for this one. Uh, you open up the app, you key that in, and you uh, configure your event. All of your data sh should populate all of your runner information. Their bibs should be assigned, and there should be no errors. And then, um, if there, as long as there are no errors, then you're good to go to time your event. All right. So that is a basic setup and configuration for um, for the timing app. Thanks. Thank you.